What's up, everybody? My name is Prince Leon, and sadly, the stream crashed. And so now, I don't feel like doing another stream. I'm just going to record the rest of the matches that were supposed to be shown. And I'm mad that like this it was only like at least two matches that were shown. Or three. The for the pre-show. So anyways. I'll see y'all in the next one. Hopefully. No more streams are gonna break. And maybe we can stream for at least for three hours or something. So yeah. I'll see y'all later. Introducing the challenger from Sin City. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Karrion Cross. And introducing the champion from Yamaguchi, Japan, weighing in at 209 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, King! The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most coveted titles in all of WWE. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. The likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. They certainly have the history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars on the map. All facts that these men know very well. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. something in the corner and he had carrion's number there leaving himself open here now nah, guys i can't think of a worse place for him to be right now corey how do you deal with a master of sambo and catch wrestling like carrion cross what you have to do is nullify soaring Look out below! just crashing down with high impact Looks a little off balance. He isn't being allowed to make it his kind of fight. Five. Getting tossed. He's taking this to the floor now.
for a counter. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Put down face first. He had it scouted. And just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. The champ trying to reward with these hits. Just a little The standard, the blueprint, one of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division, period. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. 
it is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers first, from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. You know, Sasha stole the show in her WrestleMania debut against Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. Well, how about when Sasha Banks competed in a fatal four-way for the SmackDown Women's title at WrestleMania 33, or a fatal five-way for the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania 36? And for all her experience, Sasha lacks in the win department on the grandest stage of them all. Can she turn that all around? Tonight, we find out what the boss is truly made of. Saxon, when's the last time you took flowers to the gravesite of those detestable, inflatable friends? I beg your pardon. And her partner, from San Jose, California, Bailey! A childhood dream to be on the grandest stage. Well, I don't see the same Bailey who used to write school papers about her dreams in this moment. That's because this Bailey inspires a generation. She is the epitome of ambition, a true role model. You think she can be great on commentary with you? I have my doubts, but let's just have Bailey stick to the ring where she's at her best. I mean, this table already has its role model. Thank you. A true underdog hero in the women's division. Nikki A.S.H. is ready to fly tonight. Byron, you know she can't actually fly. She's only almost a superhero. Theater of the mind, Corey. Theater of the mind. And introducing the champions. First, from Glasgow, Scotland. She is one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. Almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. Listen, guys, I'll, I'll admit it. The change in attitude recently has brought Nikki A.S.H. A lot of success. Wait, Corey, does that mean you're ready to jump on the bandwagon of Nikki A.S.H.? Absolutely ASH? not. Well, the change in attitude of Nikki A.S.H. has certainly helped. Well, she's won the Money, the Bank, the Raw Women's Championship, and the Women's Tag Titles. I think we're going to see even more super heroics here tonight. Now the nightmare is real. Rash, bold, and unashamed. Brutality has arrived. And her partner from Adelaide, Australia. She is one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Rhea Ripley. Now the nightmare has come to WrestleMania. Feels like yesterday that Rhea Ripley made her WrestleMania debut, becoming the first superstar to defend their NXT Championship at the Showcase of Immortals. That night, she did so against Charlotte Flair. Well, how about WrestleMania 37 when Ripley called her shot, challenged Asuka, and defeated the Empress for the Raw Women's title? I'm sure there are many more WrestleMania moments in store for the career of Rhea Ripley. You know, some would call this confidence, others arrogance. That's the look on the face of Rhea Ripley. What we do know is that Rhea Ripley is always prepared for any kind of fight.
The WWE Women's Tag Titles have quickly risen to prominence. The Women's Tag Team Champions at risk of losing their titles in this. Banks and Bailey, And standing in their way of victory, we see Rhea Ripley. And Nikki A.S.H. The champs are not going down a lot of fight, but the challengers really seem ready for the challenge tonight. I think it's going to be a dugout brawl on another level because neither of these teams want to go home without the title. on the horizon. Oh, and boom, a back elbow. this, fellas. chance to take in her undeniable greatness.
Oh, look at the knees. Burying knees into the body. Banks had that well scouted. The challenger eating up some damage. Tag made. Tag made. Two hit. Choke slow. Here we go. Tag made.
Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. showing she knows what it takes to thrive in a grueling match like this one. Oh, perfectly timed with the knees. Look at this series of forearms over and over again. In comes Bailey. See? Team and the buckle. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Tagged into action. And she's in off the tag.
what's going to happen here. Double team action on the way. Big boot. Sent on connects. Irish territory for Nikki. From the heavens. Oh, that hurt. What a counter. Crash landing. Nice snap. Suplex. Not done just yet. Part two. And looking for the trifecta. In comes Bailey. Ripley set to the outside hard. Targeting the chest, very effective. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. Challenger to champion. That has to feel good. Unless you're the one going from champion to nothing. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship! Io Shirai, one of the best women high flyers in history. One of the most decorated competitors in Japanese women's wrestling history. And Io Shirai has continued that success in NXT and WWE. Io Shirai, without question, possesses one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. And if we're lucky, we'll see another one here tonight. The genius of the sky preparing to take flight. And here comes the man. Yeah. All right, that's it. 
Becky Lynch went from the pre-show at WrestleMania 34 to winning the main event of WrestleMania a year later. Won both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship that night on the grandest stage. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai! And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky As you can see tonight, this is all about hashtag women's title. women's minds right now. Who will walk out of here the face of WWE's flagship women's division? I imagine they each have very different answers. Stop it. Ouch. Let's response. Look at this. Leg drops. Not finished yet. How about another? Straight jacket locked in. Suplex. A oh, dragon screw ankle breaker. Oh, across the top rope. Taking it outside the ring now. And down with the suplex. Carefully measured knee drop. Two. Hooked up. Inverted DDT. Ah, nice drop kick. So precise. She gets Becky with a counter. Three. Into the ring now. Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. Corey, what factors can give Becky an advantage in this matchup? What separates Becky are the intangibles. The feeling that the WWE Universe on the top and finds a counter. Oh, God. Lynch looking to destroy the arm. Set up in the corner. Oh! Stomping away. Over and up. Uh, just clearly frustrated with this interruption. Wait a second. I cannot believe she is here. Slide shoulders down. And the kick out by Becky Lynch. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Down they go. It almost looked like there was going to be a comeback there for a moment. The shoulders. And they crash. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking from the top. Oh, oh, piercing elbow. Intercepted by the man. That 
Becky in full control here. Manhandle slam. And into the count. There's two. Two and a half, but the champion kicks out. She just dodged a major bullet. Here, Michael, but can she capitalize? Oh, right to the kidneys. God, oh, man, Becky is just making that hard. The challenger is in some big trouble. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Placing them into the corner. Going up high. What in the world? This may pay off big time. Or could lead to disaster. I can't look. Then don't. Everyone else enjoy the Spanish fly. Looking for a high risk move. Position. Looking to inflict even more damage. Now it's gonna get ugly, it's gonna get bad up to the top row. Wait a second, wait a second! Spanish flow! Oh my goodness! She's going up! Top rope here! From the top! Here we go! Look out! Looking from the top! Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. To the sky! We are seeing a ridiculous amount of risky moves. We'll see if it pays off. Athleticism being shown here. Uh, 
Watch out. Big miss right there. Becky moves out of the way. Uh-oh. Lynch is holding in. Becky Lynch. He's got a 6 He's got a 6 to this over. Uh-oh. The put in the books. And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. Perseverance getting the gritty victory tonight. This was a grueling match both physically and mentally, but to the victor goes the spoils. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxton, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! On, you know, Seth, guys, has had an unbelievable career here at WrestleMania. Well, think about it. Rollins has victories over Brock Lesnar, the likes of Triple H, all at WrestleMania. But Cole, you were ringside for perhaps the greatest Money in the Bank cash-in in history. Indeed, the night that he cashed in on Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar to win the championship. And here comes the multi-time world champion. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R Superstar Edge. Already a storied WrestleMania career, including a main event match against the one and only Undertaker. Recently, Seth Rollins has become increasingly temperamental, lashing out at the WWE Universe with his words and lashing out at his fellow superstars with his fists. Seth can't stand to feel disrespected, and the moment he feels slighted, he's out for revenge. We've seen him do some heinous things to those that have dared to stand up to him. Yeah, Rollins is quick to discipline anyone he feels has stepped out of line, always teaching some twisted lesson in respect. And what about Edge? Back in the ring after nine long years away and triple fusion neck surgery, he wants to write the final chapter of his career. Wants to finally end things on his terms. Edge has always done things on his terms, Saxton. You don't be off into the pen. Stops the count before a two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. He's positioning himself, closing in. Here we go. Jumping, leaping attack. Oh, stop it away. Enough already. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Out of steam. 
jumping knee drop. So precise. Edge there stared right into his opponent's attack. Rollins lashed out with all his fury on that. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Oh, God. Face first. The stop in every single part of his body. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. The Scottish warrior on the battlefield at the showcase of the Immortals. Who could forget that incredible moment for Drew McIntyre when he won the WWE Championship from Brock Lesnar in the main event of WrestleMania 36. Something tells me the countdown to Claymore has already begun. The Scottish warrior prepared for battle. WWE Universe, acknowledge him. The head of the table has arrived, flanked by a special counsel, Paul Heyman. Reigns has dominated the entire WWE. And not just dominated physically, but now mentally as well.
Already cemented himself as an all-time great, a multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. How about five WrestleMania main event matches, defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline, giving his marching orders to his cousins, the Usos, and his special counsel, Paul Heyman. A man who used to fight with honor, but now will do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table. The pressure is on for the champion, looking to cement himself as one of the best of this era with a big win tonight. Introducing the challenger from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. And introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. It's off the universal title. Nice. What a shot. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Somehow McIntyre is overpowering Reigns. 
to stop in every single part of his body. and looks to capitalize. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Reigns comes up short on that attack. Oh, a blow to the bread basket. Launched his opponent. Overhead, belly to belly. Attacking the arm. Great way to break down your opponent. Enough already. McIntyre setting up. The title might change hands. That's got to be it. Two. We almost had a new champion. I knew it would take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. And now McIntyre is at a loss as his mind races to rethink his attack. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. McIntyre looking to close out this matchup. Oh, jeez, look at Roman Reigns' face. champion. I thought the defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything can happen in WWE. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the WWE Championship. The Beast has arrived. Wait, wait, what, what's going on here? Well, he's confused. And I guess Iron? he should be. And thanks for the down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like that. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. Hashtag WWE Championship. Title match is now officially underway. History could be made. Regardless of which one of these men you're a fan of or you support, you cannot argue. These are two men with championship pedigree. You can't be in this position if that weren't true. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. Lesnar is overwhelmed. Lesnar is overwhelmed. We hardly ever see Lesnar in this alarmed state. Yeah. Oh, look at this. What a headbutt. Really just laying it in. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. And over the top into a rough landing. The challenger eating up some damage. From the top. Oh, God. Was trying to make a big 
splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. What a German suplex. He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. Lesnar moved. Boom. He's heading back to the ring. Coming back in the ring. Side. This could get wild. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging furniture. Gets inside the ring, and he goes into the ring. Clearly not expecting this. I cannot believe what I am hearing right now. Why would he come out here? Why do you think, Saxton, these two can't stand one another? Behind. Look out! Nice down kick, great elevation. Shoulders down, championship on the line! Two, Lord's off the pin in two! I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors, knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. The challenger being outclassed here. This has just been an absolute massacre. Right now, Brock needs to find the form that has made him a dominant force. Get him in the corner. Oh, what a right hook. Oh, look at this. More time he strikes. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. A great well with that on the counter. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, what a 
surprise. Yeah, we're all surprised, including the superstar inside the ring. He can't believe it. O'Connor rolls, shoulders are down. And the champ gets three and one. He's still got life in this matchup. Big four. champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat drip out of the challengers every pour. All of that work, all of these big moves, and it still didn't earn the ball. Looks like he has something planned with his table, guys. I don't want to know. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Getting back into the ring. He steps foot in the ring again. Big clothesline! What agility! this string of action. But I must give credit. Catching Brock like this is an incredible challenge. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage. But I don't think you can cut back from this many. These are the kind of attacks that completely throw off your equilibrium. Why they sleeping, why they snooze on me? I was seasoned up with two 